Hey everybody, today we're gonna to take you on a walking tour of Town Lake and show you what it's like to live a little bit inside the Town Lake bubble, how close it is to downtown Woodstock and some of the surrounding areas just outside of Town Lake that make it accessible and one of the best places to live in Cherokee County. Right now we're in uh, Starbucks. This is the one location that you can get to Starbucks here in Town Lake. Uh, Woodstock has a couple others as well. One of the favorite restaurants around here is gonna be Izumi's, uh, which is just over here. And then you've got Johnny's Little Pizza, and you're right off where Town Lake Parkway and Eagle Drive break apart. So if you continue on Eagle Drive, you're gonna end up uh, over by Etowah. If you make a right on Town Lake Parkway and you like sushi, you're gonna probably wanna stop at Connie House. That's gonna be one of the local places where you can get sushi really well, not to mention Izumi's that is right here. So let's go on a tour real quick and we'll take you through these locations. So now we are officially actually inside of Town Lake. What do I mean by that? Well, Town Lake is actually part of a master association. The entire area was, de uh, was developed and if you're part of the Master Association, you're technically in Town Lake. Some of the stuff we looked at previously in this video is considered the Town Lake area, but is actually outside of the Master Association. Where we're standing right now is in the Connie House parking lot. This is one of the great sushi choices that you get. If you were to head that direction and go down Eagle Drive, where we told you you could get to Etowah, on the left, you're gonna see Volcano Sushi. So that's three sushi locations that you can get here in Town Lake. In Town Lake, we like to refer to this as the bubble. Everything you need is inside of it, so you don't have to venture out. Now, granted, from time to time, people do venture outside of the Town Lake bubble inside of Woodstock to either go downtown to experience the amphitheater if they have a huge band that's in, or to go to Mad Life or one of the restaurants that's downtown like Century House or, um, or Mad Life, or even just to go to the pie bar and get some pie. Where we're standing right now is um, just outside of what we know as the Kroger Plaza in Town Lake. And behind me, you can see uh, Maple Street, which is a biscuit place and a coffee place that we go to often uh, after I have networking meetings to meet one-on-one -on -one with individuals here. And as you go through that plaza, that's gonna be where you're gonna find Kroger, um, the UPS store that's on this side, that's uh, this side of Town Lake, there's two of them. There's one next to my office, and there's this one up here, as well as a burger joint and many other things. So what we want to do right now is kind of take you down Town Lake Parkway, deeper into Town Lake, and show you some of the golf courses. There are two. One of them is a public golf course, and that's the one we're gonna take you to next, is we're gonna walk over and look at Town Lake Hills East, which is a great subdivision to live in with a golf course, and it has a local restaurant that I probably frequent more than any of the other restaurants, maybe with the exception of El Ranchero, and that is known as the Tavern. So that's gonna be this direction. Let's walk that way and take a look at it. So welcome to Town Lake Hills East. This is one of the premier neighborhoods. It's probably the first one as you get on Town Lake Parkway and it breaks off from Eagle Drive. This is, uh, that first area we went through is kind of the commercial area where you're gonna have all the restaurants, part of the bubble. This is where we get into the residential area. Now this is a public golf course, semi-public, uh, so you can be part of the club here if you um, live in the area and you pay for a membership. Uh, uh, or you can be somebody like me who, uh, I don't live in this neighborhood, but I can come and golf here. That's different than Eagle Watch, which will be further down Town Lake Parkway. Their golf course is private. You must be a resident of Eagle Watch in order to do that or a guest of somebody that's there. So right behind us, right over here, you're gonna see the Tavern, which is the local restaurant, which is actually slammed right now uh, here on a Friday. And this is uh, probably one of the biggest hangouts. I've been attending networking meetings and using this restaurant every Friday for the last 10 years come this March. So I uh, spent a lot of time here. Uh, we love Dan, the owner, and uh, the food is fantastic. And if you like to golf, this is actually a fun place. We actually do, this is the only golf course that I've ever golfed at night on. We do a, uh, the Town Lake Rotary Club does a glow ball golf tournament where we go out as dusk happens and as it gets dark out and we have uh, the golf balls glow. So you see streaks of red and blue that go through the sky as a fundraiser uh, for community projects that Rotary supports. So as you head further downtown Lake Parkway and you get deeper into uh, the residential area, you're gonna pass the fairways which sits between Town Lake Hills and um, Eagle Watch. 
Then as you get towards Eagle Watch, uh, that's a huge community with a couple entry points off of there. And as you head towards Hobgood Park, and it ends down there, you, you come across Wingate. Wingate Parkway will take you to uh, the elementary school known as Bascom. And then as you go down in there, you'll be in one of the, of the neighborhoods that we really have fallen in love with over the years and sold over 800 houses uh, in that neighborhood. And that is gonna be Wingate. So this becomes the bedroom community of Woodstock, the premier place uh, to live. A lot of people that live here, even though they like staying inside what we call the Town Lake Bubble, they oftentimes will go to downtown Woodstock for some of the awesome things that are there. So let's, let's go ahead and explore a little more. We're gonna take you down to Hobgood Park. Hey everybody, so this brings us to the other side of Town Lake. This is Hobgood Park. This is uh, one of the places where if you live in this community, uh, kids come to play baseball, uh, there's plenty of walking trails. They actually have uh, a huge Christmas lights uh, celebration that you can walk through, uh, that we go through every year that is absolutely massive. Let's take a walk inside and just kind of show you around Hobgood Park. Just so you know where you're at, right behind over here is going to be where Bascom Elementary is and Wingate Parkway. So that's Wingate on this side. And uh, right behind is going to be Bells Ferry Road. If you've seen any of our map videos, you've seen Bells Ferry kind of runs across. And where uh, Town Lake Parkway and Eagle Drive split off, they both dead end into Bells Ferry Road, which is right over here. So let's just take a walk through Hobgood real quick, show you around. Come on. During spring and summer and on the weekends, this place is absolutely packed. There's a ton always going on at Hobgood Park. And if you're thinking about living or moving to the Woodstock area and you're considering Town Lake as one of the areas you might want to live in, from these bedroom communities that we've done some reviews on, I definitely recommend you check out the individual uh, walkthroughs of the subdivisions themselves. As you get to know this area, you'll find the right fit for you. If you're thinking about living in Woodstock and you want more hustle and bustle than what Town Lake provides for you, then downtown Woodstock may be the place that you wanna live. That's more of the work, live, play community where you can have a golf cart and basically drive around downtown. That's a lot more dense in terms of its population. And then as you get further out, you can still be in a Woodstock address outside of Town Lake, outside of the downtown area, and just south of Holly Springs in Canton and still enjoy being close to everything, but having a little bit more space, a little less dense population and a more rural feel on that. If Cherokee County seems right for you, uh, give us a call on the number below and we're happy to meet with you and help get you the guidance you need to be able to move to this area and save money and not make the mistake of buying somewhere and then finding out, oh, if I had known this, I would have chose over here. Thanks so much, and we'll talk to you soon.